Hello, welcome to Diggers Outdoors. Um, today we're going to talk about the, my uh, get home bag. And now, um, before we get into this, I'm going to tell you why I made it. I didn't make it for, well, it can be used for an SHTF situation uh, nationally, globally, locally. I made this more for a personal SHTF if I'd happen to lose my job. Um, you see, I'm a driver. I drive for a living. And um, more times than not, if, if someone happened to lose their job, lose their, lose their job doing what I do, they basically tell you to get out of the truck, start walking. Give the keys to the next place you go to. Or basically, I should say, give, go to your next stop, do that delivery, give them the keys, walk away. So this is more for that than anything else. And uh, the rod I have now isn't too bad. I'm not really that far. I'm no more than 25, 30 miles from home. Um, but I have had routes where the furthest point on it would be 188 miles away. Yeah, a little bit of a daunting challenge to um, lose your job and get home from that. I mean, I'm not in that position where, I, where I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job, but just in case, just in case, it's just it's just one of those things. But um, without any further ado, let's let's uh, dive on into this thing. Okay, here we have it's it's your stand, standard standard uh, tactical backpack. And why I chose one, uh, you're gonna laugh at this. I chose this one because the area that I go into, 50 to 75 percent of the people walk around with these things anyway, so I blend right in, no problem. Um, in fact, I see a lot of the businessmen walking around with tactical backpacks like this with all their business stuff in them. Who knows, it could be a get home bag too. Who knows? But um, yeah, I, I chose this. I was just gonna go with the black or brown or tan or a green one, but um, I'm looking around what everybody else is carry, carrying in the area that I have to go through. And it was all like this. So I'm like, well, when in Rome, do what the Romans do, right? So we're going to start breaking into this thing here. Get the camera set up. There he goes. Okay, we're going to go through the little molly bag here first. Now I know you guys see this molly bag and this thing's been through many different things. But, um, the first thing I have, and I don't have the good one, I got a cheaper one. Got a little charger for my phone here. Plus, um, I have, I have a uh, charging cord as well. Get into the bag. Oh yeah, I got a pencil and a tack pen. And the other thing I got, which I have on me right now, I used it. I have another one of those little stylus pens here. As I said, the, the, uh, the, style, the stylus pens, they're, hell, they're like a buck a piece. Down to the Dollar Tree. They write good. Uh, the tack pen I got from a um, quote unquote survival kit. And the pencil just a standard big pencil. Nothing, nothing special. You go to the front pocket here. In the front pocket, yeah, don't laugh too hard. I got a dry erase marker. You're gonna see why I have a dry erase marker here in a little bit. A ferro rod and a, stri and a uh, striker for it. And a lighter. And in the back pocket, 
get into that here. That's where I kept I have another one of the um, I usually carry like two in each kit. Another one of the stylus pens. A compass. And if I can get my fingers into it, as fat as they are, a um, whistle for uh, signaling. Wild little sucker too. So let's put all this stuff back away. Let's bear with me. Watch me pack it back in. Set this over here. Set this over here. Let's get into the front compartment. Okay, got me a nice little set of gloves here. I mean, these, they're insulated, but they're still thin enough to work with. So I got a little bit of both going on right there a notebook for taking notes or leaving notes or what have you and a couple maps I have uh, one of the state park here well, we'll go through the, the main ones here first I got one of Pennsylvania, and these, this is where the, um, the dry erase marker is going to come in handy. So, the reason I chose dry erase marker, this, this is one of those plastic, matches the plastic covering on it. The thicker plastic, plastic covering. Let me go over here. You see, we're, we're going to make some marks. See those? Let that dry for a minute or two. But the reason I chose these is, see that marks that? I can erase it, so. I got one, I got a black one in there right now. I may change, I want to say uh, change it up, but I may put a couple different colors in to mean different things, areas to stay away from, areas to go into, and what have you. And right now I'm delivering down around Pittsburgh, so I got a Pittsburgh map in there. Um, I have a Beaver County map. I'm from Beaver County myself, so um, the reason I have the Beaver County map though is there's uh, still some areas of the county that I am not that versed on, and this I mean this has every little goat path in the county in it, and. The other one I had it out, out of the bag, it's in, it's in the Jeep right now. But uh, this is one of the state parks that I pass uh, running this route. And the other one is from, well, that was from a route I was running. I'm going to leave that in there because there's a good possibility I may be running that route again. But the other one's for the um, a state park up by where I work. And the reason I have those in there is Racking Creek State Park, uh, when I was running the route that went past that, if for some reason that I'd have to stay overnight, they have a hiking shelter that's not too far from the road. So that's one reason why I have the map. Another reason why I carry the maps of the two, two different state parks is that if I have to walk for some un unknown reason, 
Um, and depending on where I'm going, I might be able to use the trail system of the park as a shortcut of sorts. I could cut a corner off, let's say. But uh, it's just something to think about. And the last thing I have in the in this front pocket, that's the front pocket I'm messing with right now, right there, is silverware. It's got the uh, fork spoon and a an, and, uh, regular butter knife here. But that's what's in that pocket. Okay, in the top, in the front top pocket, or the back top pocket, whichever way you want to look at it. This is not one of the better ones. I'm going to get a better one down the line. Uh, the good ones in my hiking kit. I got a, a headlamp and this um, this three-way flashlight, which I got that there. That goes down smaller. I also got the red the uh, red beacon on it too. Now in the main apartment. Bear with me, folks. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have a couple bottles of water in here. There's one. There should be a second one in here someplace. Maybe there is any one. I'm not sure. I should be, but I'm not. I got a bottle of water. One bottle of water. But since a lot as it says I built this more for a personal SHTF, so I'm going to be able to get water on the go, easily. So I've got a couple different, couple different water bottles too. Um, got a couple different things of cordage here. Both paracord, black and... Um, Camo, I guess. I don't know what, what color you call that, but I also have duct tape or gorilla tape. This is probably some of the best stuff on the market if I have to make repairs to anything. And this is one of the latest additions. It's, it's just a 250 piece first aid kit. Nothing major. It's basically a big boo boo kit. And I eventually want to get a better pouch to put this in, but for right now, this will do. Space blanket to keep me warm. It also has rope in, so I could use this as a tarp if need be. I am going to put a tarp, I am going to put a hiking tarp in here. There's the other bottle of water, slid down to the bottom. But a space blanket. Bunch of different tiles. We need both hands for this. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't laugh. It's a beach towel. Why a beach towel? These, this beach towel I've had for a few years now, and you would not believe the actual insulative properties this has. This can work, actually work like a blank, like a blanket in and of itself. And what else do I have in here? I have a UST Axe, which, a little story behind this, I just kind of tossed it in there. The paracord has already come off of it. In fact, this, if you're going to leave it alone, I wouldn't recommend it. But um, I've used this a little bit. It actually doesn't work that bad. I've used a lot better. But um, there may be a video. There may be a video about this axe, because one thing I don't like about this is the blade, like right in here. I don't know if you can see it if I go edge on. It's hollow ground. I've never been a big fan of anything hollow ground. Even though most of my knives are hollow ground, you can't really find them like flat, flat grind or scandy grind anymore unless you get them from Wild. Opinel or Mora. But there's the axe, and then I got a knife and a backup knife, and I've had these up. I've showed this, these to you guys before. I'll bring out the main one. That's the main knife right there. And this thing is it's pretty heavy. I like this thing. But um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I appreciate the views. Look forward to the comments, and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Now, I need to make a PS on that video. Um, one thing you probably noticed is I didn't have food in it. Uh, the reason is, is especially with a personal SHTS situation, um, I'm the only one that's going to, be, going to be experiencing it. So I'm going to get my food on the way. And a lot of times with uh, the shelter, a lot of places I go to, um, the space blanket tarp, I'm just still thinking about putting like a hiker's tarp in there, but that's like worst case scenario that um, I wouldn't be able to find a place to stay, but nine times out of 10, I'm passing cheap hotels. So just a little PS and um, thank you again.